So we're going to talk about trying versus doing weight loss motivation. You see here Natasha here going for a flex up McGill Road on the S-Works SL4 Rubay Shram Red for the win. These girls, they don't try, all right? Girls like Natasha don't try. They absolutely do. They have a goal. They get obsessed and fixated and OCD and they do not try. They absolutely do. Natasha quit university. She quit where she lived, she quit everything, and she moved to Adelaide under my guidance, and the rest is history, okay? There's no try in life. You do or you don't. You do or you fail. Get going. Often we say, well, I'm going to try and eat healthy. All right? Whenever we use the word try, we give ourselves a way out, okay? Cancel that. Like, as I say, burn the bridges, okay? In a good way. But like, there's no going back. All right, find the right way and get obsessed and dedicate. You see some girls out there, they're like, okay, I see Natasha and I don't want to eat right and train right. No, I'm going to do liposuction and, and silicon. And they end up looking like Michael Jackson on a thousand milligram of estrogen a week. All right, they just, it just it doesn't look good, girls. All right, you fuck yourself when you do that, okay? That's just my opinion. I'm just saying, if you want the right results in life, you got to do the right protocols, Okay. There's no trying. People, oh, I'm going to try a bit of your protocols during Ida. Okay, if you want the try results, then you do you. If you want the 100% results, then do 100% the work, okay? My life changed when I gave up my excuses. When I lost my excuses, the same day I started finding results. Try is a lie. You do or you don't. I is a lie. We do or we don't. Go out and get it. Beautiful day here in Adelaide, South Australia. And we've got a hall on the back here. We've got uh, <laughs> we've got Nike Air, Alpha Fly, Zoom Dragonfly, Track Spikes. We've got Gore-Tex Pegasus. We've got the Foam Pursuits. If you've got a sharp eye, you'll recognize the box. Nike Air, Foam Pursuit 1, the Triple Blacks. And they're selling for crazy dollars on StockX right now. And uh, so this is this hole here is probably about two close to two thousand dollars profit, and we're riding the bike, so zero fuel, zero parking costs today. And we'll get some fitness and free vitamin D, fresh air, feeling good. Many cyclists on this path here. <laughs> so the the analogy is uh, with shoe resale, with anything in life, YouTube, you have to put into it if you want to succeed, if you want to make the big dollars. Have the holiday lifestyle, etc. I, I love this stuff. This is this is I'm on holiday right now. Like going to the you know, buying shoes and selling them and look at I love shoes. I'm a shoe bro and I love it. Right? So I'm on holiday right now. This this is not work. This is not work. <laughs> it's not work for me. It's play. I enjoy, I love shoes. And uh, a lot of people love shoes, but uh, so find something you love to do. Don't do it just for the money. I don't do this for the money. Like. I, like, I do it because I enjoy it. And yeah, the money's insane. It's fucking, I'm like, I'm surprised more people don't do it. But I guess people don't love shoes as much as I do. It's fair enough. But, uh, but you got to put the work in, okay? It's, it's like people go, I'll, I'll try that. We all say that, don't we? I used to say, I'll, I'll try. And I've realized try is a lie. Like Yoda said, try is a lie. You do or you don't, okay? You do or you don't. You know, I don't, not trying to ride this bike path. I'm, I'm riding the bike path. I'm getting home, no matter what, okay? So when you have that, do or die attitude when you burn the ships burn the ships remember back in the day they used to uh in the war zones the war times they would sail their ship to the land and then the captain of the ship would burn the ship so there's no way of retreating you win or you die all right simple as that you can't go okay let's get this let's get back in the boat let's get out of here so if you want to succeed in life you've got to burn the ships you've got to burn those emotional excuses we say oh but what would my family say oh blah 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 if you want it, you do it. Right? It's your life. It's your choice. Don't do it because your family wants you to do it. Do it because it needs to be done and you love doing it. Right? And it's good for the... You're serving the community. Like people, all my customers are fucking stoked. The, the, the big spenders are like, yes, I got that shoe I couldn't get. And the people I sell deals to are like, yes, I couldn't afford those Alpha Flies for 370 and Harley sold them to me for 200 bucks. I saved 170 bucks and I got the best, you know, best uh, 5K marathon shoe out there, etc. So... You know, so all my customers are winning. My coaching group, everyone's winning. My viewers are winning, okay? So that's what's about providing value. And, uh, and that, for me, that feels really good. But you, you, 
anyone can be a success on YouTube. Yes, it's getting a lot harder, but you've got me in your corner, the number one coach. There is no better social media coach out there than me. There is no better. You know, look, you could get Gary V and me, and we could grab the average person off the street, and I guarantee, I'd love to do this, and Gary V's a legend, by the way. He's a better speaker than I am, et cetera, and better many, th many things than I am. But I'm t in terms of YouTube coaching, I'm the man, all right? I would love to have a competition with Gary V. Who could get someone earning six figures on social media uh, via YouTube, etc.